What's going on, geeks and gamers? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost, and welcome to Gaming with Geeks. And just a day before the Sony PlayStation 5 official event, where we will get a look at some of the games that will be available on PS5. Again, we will be live streaming that on this channel, 1 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow, or Thursday, June 11th. It seems like we have some leaked games for PS5 that have appeared on Amazon now. I am very skeptical of what a lot of these are. The listings are real, no doubt. However, they are just by basically the developers. They don't have the actual game next to them, but a lot of people are talking and speculating. Let's take a look at it. Multiple PS5 games have leaked ahead of tomorrow's PlayStation 5 event, courtesy of Amazon UK. Today, PlayStation fans discovered numerous listings for PS5 games on the retailer, which also has a variety of placeholder listings for Xbox Series X games. Unfortunately, these listings don't divulge any specific games, but they do make mention of publishers like Take-Two Interactive, Rockstar, Bethesda, Ubisoft, Konami, and even Sony itself. And there are 118 PlayStation 5 game and accessories listed on Amazon. Now, uh, let's go for some additional detailers right here. So Nibble's one of the ones I first saw on this. Wario64 also had a lot of information. But you can see here, Amazon UK has three placeholder listings for some PS5 games. And uh, PS5 is a promoted trend right now. And PlayStation 5 is trending, I guess, just because people are excited and they added the little logo next to it. But Konami, Take-Two, and Coke Media. To clarify, the Take-Two listing is a 2K listing, so it's probably a sports game for the fall. Please stop bringing up Agent in 2020, enough is enough. And you can see here some of these, and it's, it's clear it's dummy things. It's like Amazon is getting ready to list these. The same thing that they're doing with the Xbox Series X games and uh, with Xbox Series X games and the console itself. 2020 dummy, a Sin Konami game to PS5. Uh, and then right here, take two, 2K game for PS5. Price is sitting there at, what is that, 69 euros? I believe it's either euros or pounds. It's pounds because it's in the UK. Um, so we don't have confirmation what that is, but likely that's like NBA 2K, maybe even 2020 or 2021 for PS5. Nothing really revolutionary. But you do have more PS5 uh, games on Amazon, including Rockstar Games, Namco Bandai, and Bethesda. Right? Keep in mind that a lot of these have already been relisted after so many people found them. But there are some people speculating, like this person, Starfield, the Bethesda game that we don't have any information about that we're waiting to hear. And of course, he posts the Skyrim opening scene because, uh, again, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be shocking if that ended up being another Skyrim listing for the PlayStation 5. That's what I think a lot of these are. I think a lot of these are just games that are currently out that are just getting ready to be launched on PlayStation 5. We'll get a whole list of things that that'll happen for tomorrow at the event, as well as hopefully these new exclusive titles that we're so looking forward to hearing about. Someone who claims to be a vendor says there are 118 PS5 listings in total. Also, those two PS5 console listings have been floating out are probably inaccurate. And please don't expect 118 games to be announced tomorrow. The console that they're talking about. PlayStation 5 2 terabyte placeholder listing says it's £599.99. Pounds. No link posted, but someone is able to order it apparently. Again, that's probably a dummy one because is we've already known about the PlayStation 5. We know that it's going to be around 825 gigs, if I remember right. You'd be hard pressed passing that off as one terabyte. Um, a two terabyte one, that would be a big news to a lot of people, but maybe. Just maybe we'll get more details on that tomorrow. Um, there are reported 118 PS5 games and accessories, like we said. Are these listings for games they know will be announced tomorrow and later this summer, or are they predictive listings in order to get pre-orders out the door as soon as possible? No one knows. We're all speculating, all waiting to find out until tomorrow. Unfortunately, at the moment, none of this is clear, and neither Sony nor Amazon have offered up a comment. And then you can read all of these. These are all of the publishers that do have a PS5 listing so far. Uh, we mentioned a lot of these already. Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers. That'd be a lot of people might be interested in something from Warner Brothers. But uh, Activision, Sega, of course. And then it goes through a lot of the tweets that we already have talked about. 
But what do you guys think about this? Do you think any of these leaks, are they just simply predictive ones? Are they just getting ready? Or do they know what games will be announced tomorrow? Let me know in the comments below. And also what you're looking forward to from PlayStation 5 and what you would like to hear announced tomorrow when we do the live stream on this channel. Let us know in the comments. Smash a like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there. And I will talk to you later.